I don't like to talk too much about myself,、um, unless the story that I share can add some insight, meaning, knowledge,、uh, or value to the reader. According to futurist Peter Diamandis, between 2022 and 2026, the world will see as much change as between the year 1900 to 2000. In four years, starting starting next month, we're going to see as much change as between the years 1900 to 2000. New technologies, new opportunities, new things are going to emerge. The whole field of Web3 is emerging right now. And this means there's going to be so much opportunity for disruption. If you are a traditional company and you're not nimble and you're not on your toes, this is bad news for you. It's it's literally bad news. There's going to be massive disruption across companies all around the world. But if you're an entrepreneur, aspiring entrepreneur, it's good news because there's going to be so much change and so much opportunity for you to disrupt the established players. I started Mind Valley as an experiment. So, so basically, one of the most important skills you can learn is how to make money. But I was smart. I didn't quit my day job. So here's something really interesting. There's a study that shows that if you quit your day job to start a company or a business, you are 30% less likely to be successful. So this whole idea that you need to quit your day job and jump in and go all in, absolute rubbish. Do not do that. The reason is because if you quit your day job, it's going to take you a while to get your side hustle to take off, right? And that could be a year, that could be five years. It took me five years. I was one of the slowest starters. But if you quit your day job, what could likely happen is that you may not have the income,、um, and that puts you under stress, and that's going to reduce your performance, your cognition, your thinking, your ability to grow your business. Why why、um, transformation is so important? Well, because our university system teaches us stuff that is so useless and not correlated with our future success.、Um, I do not believe people need a college degree. I do not believe a college degree is going to have any bearing on your success as an entrepreneur, as a career person, on your happiness levels of life. Yet we go through four years of intense study. Americans especially go into so much debt. To get a college degree, you must put your personal growth first. Okay, so you must take your meditation practice, your personal growth, your reading, your gym. That must come number one. It must be more important than your business. As you grow, your business will grow. When you focus on your personal growth, what happens is that even if a business fails, even if an idea fails, you emerge from it with new knowledge, new data points, new. A new version of yourself that can do better on the next idea or the next business. That's rule number one. We've almost gone bankrupt like at least three times. I remember one particular day was really tough. It was maybe 2014, maybe 2013. We were so low on cash. I had to. I was considering selling my car. So that we could meet payroll, because it was Christmas, and we didn't want to skip payroll on Christmas. My executive team they decided to、um, skip their salary for a month, so that everybody else could get paid. We had maybe sixty, seventy employees at that time.、Um, and fortunately, January came in, and January is always a great month for personal growth. And we had a campaign that worked, and we were able to get back on our feet. But these type of moments, they 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 are soul crushing. They 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 keep you up at night. But you gotta. You got to be prepared to go through them on your journey. But again, if you adopt the attitude that the number one thing is your growth, is how much you're learning, you're better able to go through these ups and these downs. Like the ups don't go to your head, and the downs don't destroy you. And then you learn from that. You learn better budgeting. You learn better financing. You you learn to improve the business model. So you learn from everything, and then you adapt it, and you go on to the next step and the next step. Every time you have a massive failure, it there's a there's a spark of wisdom in there, like waiting, waiting to be discovered. And and if you can take that and inject it into your business, you become stronger because of it. The second rule is this. The second rule is is a rule called unity. It means see yourself as as a part of a larger whole, of a larger human species.、Uh, do not cheat. Do not manipulate. Go into all relationships with a win-win attitude. Never take advantage of people. Create products that deliver true value and are not just sold by by salesiness. 
So the unity rule is a key driving force in how I operate everything in my life. I have, I have no enemies. I have no ill will towards anyone. Um, I, um, and I practice forgiveness every single day. I forgive every person, everything, everyone that has wronged me. Forgiveness is actually a superpower. Studies have shown that when you practice radical forgiveness, your life seems to get luckier. Your health improves. Your peace of mind goes up. Your sleep gets better. And so the unity rule is a key piece of that. It is the idea that unity is one of the most powerful value systems uh, anyone can have. What advice can you give somebody who's starting out to be a new entrepreneur, a new company? Okay, so someone who's starting a new business, the first thing is don't quit your day job. You got to make sure that you have income, that you have safety, that you have food on the table. Don't get desperate and don't put yourself under that stress. Now, when I was working on my day job, it still gave me two hours a night to work on my, on my side hustle. And of course, I had the weekends, right? Um, and I had a girlfriend back then who was super supportive, so she was helping as well. And so you want to, so you might have to sacrifice evenings. You might have to spend less time on Instagram, on Netflix. You might have less weekend time. But um, if you can dedicate yourself, and if you can ensure that you're constantly learning and learning and learning, odds are you're going to be successful. That's tip number one. Now, tip number two is this: don't try to do what everybody else is doing because if you do what everybody else is doing it's going to be it's going to be a lot more challenging so when instagram was just getting off the ground right in like 2010 you could go and start an instagram channel on makeup and maybe you might end up like huda beauty which has like 49 million fans today but they were one of the early ones you got to get in early i think tiktok is still early um so i think there's an opportunity in tiktok um, Instagram, I think, is 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 late is later stage, um, but there are also other fields which are picking up right now. It's not just about social media. For example, coaching, coaching is blowing up right now. Uh, more and more companies are looking for coaches for their employees. Um, I have a coach. So many people I know now get a coach. It used to be a situation where if you got a coach, people were like, is something wrong with you? But now coaching is so, so, so important. These other opportunities which are emerging is um, with the whole crypto space. There are interesting opportunities emerging with um, NFTs, with um, um, DAOs, DAOs. Uh, there are some great YouTube channels where you can learn about crypto and you can start to understand um, that marketplace. Keep in mind that, you know, investing in things like Bitcoin are risky. If you bought Bitcoin one month ago, you would have lost a lot of money today. Um, and so you got to have a really long term perspective.